Hi everyone, this is Randy Young, and welcome into another edition of Fayette FYI. We are being presented by our community supporters, the Summers Funeral Home and Great Oaks Career Campuses. We'll have our special guest right after this. When the Summers Funeral Home opened to serve this area in 1991, one of their top promises was to each family that they serve to provide thoughtful, caring, and respectful service to those in pain from the loss of a loved one. Terry Summers, his family, and staff continue that promise 30 years later to put your family needs first with the utmost professional care that they can provide. In your time of need, remember the Summers Funeral Home, 223 West Market Street, or call 740-335-6078. By the time they finish high school, these students will be ready to change the world. They're preparing for careers in healthcare, vision care, surgical technology, patient care, sports medicine. They'll have the skills, knowledge, and professional certification to make a difference in people's lives right away. They're going to change the world. You can too. Limited space is still available for incoming high school juniors. Apply now, go places. We're here now with Jessica Merritt from the Fayette County Head Start program, and today we want to talk about this uh, program that uh, you that might be viewing, have heard about, but you can also participate in. First of all, Jessica, tell us a little bit, what is Head Start? So Head Start is a federally funded program um, that we have in our community um, where we service um, children age three to five in a preschool setting. Okay, so this is basically to help prepare them for school then. Yep. Sounds simple, but uh, it's, it, is a, it is a very vital program. I'm sure studies have been done that those kids that have taken Head Start sometimes are ahead of those that don't take the program. Yes, yes. There are lots of studies out there, um, you know, on the benefits of Head Start, inclu including, um, you know, increased social emotional skills. Or those are skills like, um, you know, being able to regulate their emotions, um, increase just social skills in general with their friends, and increased, um, you know, math scores and language and communication scores um, as well. Those are all kind of wrapped up in some of the benefits of your child participating in a Head Start program. I guess people are saying, well, I've heard about this Head Start program. How much money I got to come up with? And we can say it is. Absolutely, 100% free. All right, you're going to um, come up with with folks. That's good. Yes, all of our services include transportation to and from our center um, within the county, and we have two different centers. We have the Washington Courthouse Center, which is located behind Community Action, you know, across from the fairgrounds on Washington Courthouse, and then we have a smaller center located in Jeffersonville, which is um, on Colonial Drive. It's actually right across from the Jeffersonville Pool okay. right there, and that's, you know, a smaller center that we have there um, for a lot of our county children. So we service all of Fayette County, um, and we do provide that transportation. We provide um, breakfast and lunch for our children, and all of those services are, are completely free. Tell us, what would be like an average day for, for a child if someone's out there watching and wants to sign their child so they can kind of know what to expect? Right. Um, so that day could possibly depend on whether your child is in a full day classroom or whether your child is in a half day classroom because we offer both options. Okay. Um, we have several full day classrooms. Um, so a typical day in a full day classroom, it starts at about 8.15 and it ends um, at 3.15. Um, so that kind of looks like that. During the school day, they will have um, multiple different things. They will have individual, um, they'll have group. Um, time. They'll have uh, circle time where they're working on stories. They're working on um, learning the alphabet, um, you know, the alphabet sounds, the phonetics of everything. Um, they have outdoor play. So we always um, encourage outdoor play, especially as it starts to get colder. We try to get them outside so they can get their energy out. Right. Um, you know, they do the dramatic play. They work on um, early writing skills. Um, we provide that breakfast, so typically um, our morning sessions, they would have breakfast when they, uh, pretty much as soon as they walk into the door, mm -hmm. um, you know, once they get settled, and then we would provide lunch for our full day and our, um, all of the children. The times just kind of differ a little bit. Okay. Um, so all of those classrooms are combined in that. And then our half-day sessions, we have um, a morning and, a, and an afternoon session. Um, the morning session is from 8.15 until 11.45, and then our afternoon session is 12.15 to 
So they wow. kind of have just a reduced little schedule. Yeah. So, um, but they still get everything that a full day class does, just kind of reduced on, so on the time. Sounds like a lot of coordination with the teacher, teachers and so forth that to reach the different classes, the, the, the what you're trying to get to, for them to learn. So uh, that's good. Uh, we talked briefly a little bit about it, but what are some of the other benefits for a child, especially at three years old? I mean, you know, I got a grandson in Illinois, mm -hmm. and he's not, he's almost going to be three, and my son started him this, this week, to be honest with you, in a little Head Start program. What are the advantages of getting your child in a little bit early at that young age? The earlier you can um, provide um, any sort of services to your child, um, and we even have, we'll talk about it later, but, you know, we start as early as pregnant in pregnancy prenatally um, working with families, but the earlier you work with a child, the more you're going to set your child up for success. You're going to provide them with the skills, um, especially when it comes to um, emotionally regulating themselves and being able to identify their emotions and those social skills are so key especially at that early age our um, birth to five children learn through play and learn through you know watching others and learning from their peers so that the um, the importance of getting them socialized is it's very key how did it start get started i mean that's, was it something that uh the federal government saw a need for, a state, how'd that all get started? Well, Head Start is actually a um, income-based program. So, um, you know, the federal government saw a need for um, low-income children to have access to early learning. Okay. Um, you know, they, they identified, you know, back in the day, they identified that um, low-income children or children with families of, uh, you know, low-income don't have the access and the resources to be able to um, afford to put their children into preschool. Um, they don't have access to um, the resources to put their children into um, or take their children to the doctor regularly um, to access the resources um, to maybe help them pay their bills and you know do all of those things and all mm -hmm. of those things are um, built into our Head Start program. So. Um, like our program has a uh, nurse on site, so she works with the families okay. and helps them make sure that they get their dentals for the children um, because oral health is very important for children. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that can determine your health throughout your entire lifetime if you, right. you know, don't have um, good dental hygiene. Um, so, you know, she works with the families to make sure that they're going to their dentist, that they're... Um, you know, following up on any appointments that they would have if they do need dental work, um, those types of things. She makes sure that they can get connected to what we call like a dental home. So a doctor that you're seeing, not just an urgent care or an mm -hmm. ER, or those types of things. Um, and then every family that we have and that we service in any of our programs also um, has somebody that works with them. We call them family partners or home visitors. Um, so they work with them to access or help them help connect them to resources uh, within the area. So they'll do referrals with the family. They will help the family set goals um, for themselves that they want to achieve. So some of our families want to go back to school um, and they just need help and support along the way, um, mm -hmm. or they want to build a house, or, you know, any of those types of things. Okay. Um, so they kind of walk through the partnership with them and, and help them through that process. Wow, uh, that's a lot more details than I thought. I thought just kids come to class, but it sounds like you try to, the support system, try to keep that as strong as well. Yes. Um, Head Start believes in working with the whole entire family system, you know, not just the child. So, you know, it starts in the home, where you're with your child, way more than we ever will be in the mm -hmm. in the couple hours that they're with us. So um, that's why we believe in working with the, the parents and the, the older siblings or the younger siblings in the household. You know, we want to work with everyone. I know that uh, COVID has affected you guys as well as everyone else, and that's why we're uh, having Jessica share with us today, and you'll be seeing some advertisement coming up uh, over the next couple months on different uh, uh, uh platforms that we have here at the TV station uh, to promote the fact that you can register now. There is openings available and if you're watching today and you have a child or maybe a grandchild between the ages of three to five and you said, you know, we, we need to get this, our child signed up for this program, what steps would they need to take? Um, so in order to sign up 
your child for any of our programs, all you have to do is contact us at um, our center. So our offices are located at Community Action. So you can reach us at 740-335-7282. And, you know, just let the person who answers the phone know, I want to sign my child up for Head Start, and we'll get that process started. Um, We can also get you hooked up to, we can send you the forms virtually. We can set up meetings, you know, we can meet you in your home. We can also meet you anywhere, I mean, literally anywhere you you would like to. Um, Mm -hmm. It is an income-based program, so we are required to collect all forms of income that the family receives um, to to see where they fall on our income guidelines. Um, And then we would put the the children on the wait list until we go through the process of accepting children within our program. Um, So typically we focus on bringing all the children who are age eligible and want to come back to our Head Start program and aren't transitioning out to another program. Um, And then we start enrolling new children and and things like that. So, All right, so there are openings right now if you're interested. Again, it's based on your income. Again, you can call 740-335-7282 and say, hey, I want to start uh, the process to sign up my child for the Head Start program. Uh, just before we wrap up our interview, uh, let's talk a little bit about the Early Head Start program. What, what's, what's the information you can share with us on that? Yes, yeah, so our Early Head Start program, um, I kind of mentioned it a little bit before, but um, we do our Fayette County Early Learning Center services um, pregnant moms all the way up to age five. So we mm-hmm. talked a lot of detail about our, our Head Start program, um, you know, which is center based, it's in the preschool. Um, Well, we do have two different versions of our early Head Start program. So we have an early Head Start home-based program um, where we work with pregnant moms in a home-based setting so they would come to your home. Um, And then we also work with um, children that are below three, so birth to three essentially in that program. Um, So each family in that program would be assigned an early Head Start home visitor Mm -hmm. um, and they would meet with the family regularly and what they do is they do developmental assessments with the family um, for their child throughout the process to make sure, you know, that the family is seeing where their child is at developmentally, making sure that they're hitting all of their milestones, addressing any concerns that they may have um, with their child's development along the way. So if they, they're having any concerns, you know, making those referrals um, to, to get those looked at a little bit further. Um, they also are working with the family um, on their family goals, connecting them to resources. They also have access to um, Teresa, and she works with them about their nutrition, their their wellness, um, making sure their um, immunizations and their doctors and well checks and things like that are all kind of up to date. And um, we also provide socializations twice a month um, for uh, the children who are enrolled in our Early Head Start program um, because I mentioned earlier that um, socialization is key for Mm -hmm. our early childhood. Um, and while you're participating in a home-based program, your child doesn't get the opportunity to socialize with other children in that, that area. So we offer those, um, in-person socializations for families who are enrolled in that program to be able to, um, bring their child into the center and participate with activities, uh, or in activities with children of their own age group. Um, and sometimes we have those, like we've had them at the fire station before, we've had them at the libraries, um, those types of things as well, just little little local field trips for the, mm-hmm. the kids. Um, and so that's a wonderful program. And then our second one um, is actually a partnership that we partner with um, Rockabye Early Learning Center okay. um, over by Walmart. And so this one would be a center-based fam- uh, program. Um, So families that would be enrolled in that program have the opportunity to um, utilize Rockabye um, if they're a working parent or they attend school full-time or part-time or a combination of both. um, They could apply for this program and they would receive all the benefits of the Head Start, early Head Start program with having the access to resources, um, a staff person that works with them on goals. they would also have the benefit of being provided with free diapers and wipes and formula while their child is in the center, um, you know, as well as that socialization for their child who's birth to three in one of the early Head Start classrooms. And there are openings there at the Rockabye Center for our partnership, um, you know, and we're there the the purpose of that partnership is to um, help improve the quality of care for a child care facility. So um, we partner with local child care facilities, um, you know, and we work with the staff to train them um, 
make sure that their staff are receiving professional development, um, provide additional um, nutrition guidelines, um, provide all of that support to the social services and referrals and um, all of those things just to give families a little bit extra um, and make sure that they have everything that they need and feel supported as they're going to school and working and doing all of those things as well. Um, and so we have openings in both our Early Head Start home-based and our um, partnership at Rockabye as well. So we'd love to have more children enrolled in those programs okay. so we can get as many as we can. All right, so you can see there's, there's a, this uh, program is really wide uh, expanded. Uh, that answers my question of why there were so many diapers in your office when I come to visit you, so yep. I understand now. <laughs> so anyway, if folks would like to sign up, how can they get a hold of you guys? Again, same way you would the Head Start program, you would call 740-335-7282. You would let them know you would like to sign your child up for a Head Start or an early Head Start program, and we will get that process started. Um, you know, you can ask for me. I'm the enrollment coordinator, so I, you know, I can get that process started or connect anybody with whoever that whoever we need. At both of those programs, again, are free, um, but we are required to collect income, and um, there's an application process that we would have to get the forms to you and things like that to get that started. But again, don't be discouraged though, because we have an additional allotment. So even though we have income guidelines, we are able to accept. Um, children who may fall above our income guidelines. So. All right, so once again, that's Head Start or the early Head Start program. Either one, you can get uh, your questions answered. Again, the phone number is 740-335-7282. Our thanks to uh, Jessica Merritt uh, from the Head Start program to uh, come and talk to you today. Hopefully you'll take advantage of this information, and thank you for joining us here on Fayette FYI.